same-sex marriage moved one step closer to the Supreme Court yesterday when a federal appeals court ruled California's ban unconstitutional. Justices say the ban served no purpose other than to lessen the status and human dignity of gays. A three-judge panel of the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals gave opponents time to appeal this decision before ordering the state to allow same-sex weddings to resume. Rick Santorum claimed three victories yesterday in his bid to become the Republican presidential nominee. Santorum beat GOP frontrunner Mitt Romney and Ron Paul in Minnesota, Missouri, and Colorado. Romney was hoping to extend the winning streak in the race for the nomination. Former House Speaker Newt Gingrich didn't mount a campaign in yesterday's races. Instead, he says he's looking ahead to primaries elsewhere. A vice president at the Susan G. Komen for the Cure Foundation resigned yesterday, saying the breast cancer charity should have stood by its politically explosive decision to cut off funding for Planned Parenthood. Karen Handel is a Republican who opposed abortion rights as a candidate for Georgia governor. She was actively engaged in efforts to cut off the grants and says the charity's reversal hurt its core mission. The Komen grants totaled $680,000 last year and went to breast screening services offered by Planned Parenthood, which provides a range of women's health care services, including abortions. And those are your headlines. Thanks, Lene.